You are performing this repair at your own risk. We cannot be held responsible for any injuries or damages done to your device while attempting a repair. In this video I'll be demonstrating how to replace the battery on the iPod Nano first generation. In addition to a soldering iron, you're going to need a small flathead screwdriver as well as an iPod opening tool. These toolkits are available on our website as well as a replacement battery. In order to get access to the battery, we're going to have to open up the iPod. So we'll take our opening tool and we're going to pry it in between the front plastic case and the rear metal housing. So you're going to want to release the clips on one of the long sides. In addition to one clip near the top of the iPod. Now once we release the clips on half of the iPod, we'll be able to remove the back casing. I'll show you just where those clips are located so that you have a better idea of where to pry while you're opening up the iPod. We have five clips on each of the long ends as well as one at the top. These clips sit inside plastic indents on the front plastic casing holding the two pieces together. And here is the battery that will need to be removed. And there are three wires that are soldered to the motherboard. And in order from left to right we have white, red, and black. The first thing we'll do is remove a thin strip of yellow tape that's covering the wires as well as the solder joints. Now our battery is held to the back of the click wheel with adhesive, so we'll use our flathead screwdriver to pry up that battery and free it from the adhesive. Alright, and for this next step we'll need to remove the old battery and to do that we'll need our soldering iron and we're going to move these wires individually starting with the black ground. Now we'll smooth each solder joint and apply a little extra solder if necessary. Now we can insert our replacement battery, solder the wires back in place, close up the case, and we have a complete repair. Now just to be sure we have good connections, we'll go around to each joint and add a little bit of solder. Oftentimes when removing the back case, the clips will tend to bend upwards. You want to go around and make sure that all the clips are pointing.